Hey, what? Listen up and hear me out. This video on my YouTube about my Azron is the most watched video on my channel. I've gotten a few DMs as well as comments trying to help tour guide people with their keybinds on their new Azron. While this experience is completely dedicated to one, the game that you're playing, and two, to your own likings and preferences, I can maybe try to help the process of figuring out those keybinds and what I've learned throughout the time. You know I gotta do it. If you like the video, like it. If you love it, make sure you are subscribed and comment down below if you had an Azron. I would love to know if this is something that has inspired you to make the switch over to mouse and keyboard. Mouse and Azron. Let's get after it. So I just started up into Apex, went into firing range, and this is gonna be kind of where I'm gonna show you on what binds work with what and just how to go through the process of figuring out binds. I didn't see a whole lot of videos explaining this process and it can be very difficult if you've not played mouse and keyboard before. There have been a couple of the games that I've had to switch binds, but they were really basic binds. And with this being a completely new device, I hope that this helps. On the figures for your Azeron, there's going to be four different buttons. Your index finger does have one more button on the side that you can see. For this video's sake, we're going to say the ones that are facing you are going to be down buttons because you are pushing them down. The ones on your fingernails are going to be push buttons, and the ones on the skin side of your fingers are going to be pulls. Those being the three main buttons for each finger, as well as the reach buttons that are gonna be these ones over the top. Now, as you watch which buttons I'm pressing, you'll see on the Azeron software what I'm pressing and what I'm hitting. So, let's get into the key buttons. I know the setup looks kind of weird right now, but I wanted to show the Azeron application next to Apex Legends and my thought process on how I got my keybinds. Now, again, I do want to double down that every game will be different and every person's binds will be different, but I hope this helps. Right now, I am also using the Logitech G Pro Super Light just so you guys have a frame of reference on when I use mouse buttons in this game as well. So on the most obvious buttons and the easiest ones to push are going to be our down buttons, which again, remember, are going to be the the ones that are facing up where your fingertips will be resting on. If you're switching to mouse and keyboard and this is your first time, you have to think about what fingers are actually strong versus weak. That's really weird to say, but it's true. So for example, my index finger and my middle finger are very coordinated. My ring finger and my pinky finger, not so much. So that hinders on what binds I can put on those fingers. But first, we're gonna start with our down buttons. In Apex Legends, sliding and jumping are probably the most two crucial and just basic mechanics in the game. So I know that I wanted to have my movement on these buttons. So what I said is, okay, I'm gonna put space on my index finger pushing down. Next, sliding or crouching essentially the same button. I put that next to it. So I have crouch next to that. Now this is where preference gets into play. On these next two buttons I'm pushing down, I have a Q. Amazing. And then on my pinky, I have an ultimate. Follow the tunnel. Portal placed. The apex, I now have legend abilities done as well as basic movement. Next, we're gonna do the pull buttons, which are the ones on your skin side of your fingers. For myself, on my index finger, I have E, which is gonna be interact and allow me to pick up things. So it's very, very easy for my finger. And this is something that while I'm making this video, I'm learning more about my binds. For an example, I have to take my finger off of jump button to press interact. There's not a lot of circumstances where I'm jumping and interacting, but that is something you have to think about where you're taking your finger off of certain binds to hit certain things. Next, on my middle finger pull, I do have escape that allows me to back out of things like a uh, menu or just getting back to the previous screen. Next, on my ring finger pull, I do have heal items. Now, if you wanna get really intricate with this, specifically in Apex Legends, you can bind certain heals to certain buttons on your Azeron. But because I do have the compact, I'm limited on buttons, so I just use the wheel and I always make sure that I'm spun to the right one when I need it. On my pinky, I do have G, which is gonna be all of my nades. So those are gonna be all of the pull buttons. Next are gonna be our pushes, which are going to be on the fingernail side of your fingers. First up on our index finger, I do have reload. This is really difficult, I'm only having half of the screen really easy for me and I think it's incredibly crucial because you're always reloading so I do have R on my uh, push index finger before we go to the middle finger we do have one more extra button on our index finger which is gonna be on the side button right here that I'm showing in the camera right now this is the only finger that does have this uh, button 
So I do have holster weapon with this one. I recently made the switch on my middle finger push to hold the crouch so that I can bunny hop. So I do have hold the crouch on my middle finger push. I did have push to talk on there and it's something that I'm currently experimenting with. These last two buttons I'm a little bit uncoordinated with, with my ring and pinky finger both on the push buttons. Now I do have melee on my ring finger push. Um, I'm not meleeing a ton, so I don't really need it. It is something that I'm able to hit semi consistently. Now my pinky one, I don't have anything binded because whenever I put up my pinky, I always end up hitting my ring finger as you guys can see. Um, I can always feel my ring finger grazing. I'm only trying to hit my pinky right now. While I'm not moving, it's obviously easier but if i'm actually playing the game sliding canceling i'm always pressing melee when i am hitting this button so i don't have anything binded on this but that's obviously up to your coordination on my index finger reach i do have b binded i also have b binded to select fire sometimes you need a full auto rare times you need to change to single fire regardless i do have this set to right here it's not something that i'm pressing a lot so that's why it's up here my middle finger reach is going to be bound to pretty much nothing in apex but it is for muting myself in discord and i actually do not use my ring finger or pinky reach because my hand will just not let me do it last up on my thumb you obviously have your wasd on the joystick which is a huge plus for azron the one button that your thumb does have on this outside outside of this four-way pad that i'll get into is going to be set to tab for myself so i can look at my inventory and not have to stress about it too much right here we do have our analog or wasd right above it is going to be a four-way switch that is basically used for whatever you want as well so on a pull back towards me i do have m which is going to be map on the up switch i do have change zoom for our different scopes i do have that option um Again, it's not something I'm pressing a ton, but definitely still valuable. The other two directions, which would be forward towards the monitor as well as down, I don't have bind. I actually do have forward to push the talk right now since I did tell you I changed my um, one of my buttons so I could hold crouch. But I don't like either one of these. It's weird because you do have to take your thumb off of movement. I haven't found anything to put on these two directions because it is a little bit more of an awkward angle for your thumb to hit these two. But um, that could change in the future. I hope this video helped. I know that I'm kind of all over the place with some of these binds. But overall, just taking those conscious steps to think about what is priority in your game that you're playing. And what is most comfortable for your fingers to hit is the goal. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.